Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be discussing about something very relevant nowadays, which is the work from home plan. So for this one, what I would like to suggest is that we buy some low light or low light tolerant indoor plants, those that are thriving in low light conditions. So also those that are thriving in neglect. And also those ones that are really easy plants or we consider that easy plants so for now I'll just have five plants here in my work from home area I have these two Sansevierias of course the Chinese evergreen in which you have seen in my previous posts here in YouTube also I have um, of course what I told you about uh, a while back this is also um, a variety of the Sansevieria I also have the fortune plant in here then we'll discuss why it is placed in there also and then also the pothos which is very very thriving very lush Yeah, so let's start with the pothos. So this pothos, I would start with this one because it's called the good luck plant. So I'm happy growing this one because um, it can grow whenever, wherever. Even if you put it in there, like um, it can very, it can tolerate very low light conditions. However, the thing or the catch with that one is that it will just grow um small leaves if it's not um near sunlight or it will or it will not catch enough sunlight. So although it will trail it will have babies it can grow new leaf and that's the only catch for me so it's really not hard to maintain you can just put it in there and then one thing or one day you'll just notice that it will now grow new babies so that's the number one plant that you can put in your work from home setup so So the second plant that I could um, suggest it would be the San Severia. It can tolerate light conditions. Uh, that's why they call it the easy plant. So for this one, I have the San Severia Cylindrica and the San Severia Starfin. What I noticed about the San Severia is that they are growing lush in whatever kind of light. You'll just need to water them at least once a week. You don't need to water them very often because from what I have researched, um, they can store leaves or they can store water in their leaves. So that's the catch in there. Don't overwater them or else you you might kill them. So the third um, one would be the Chinese Evergreen. So I don't know, I just want to include them um, in this work from home desk because per my experience, um, if you could remember from my previous vlogs that I have a Starbucks cup and then I have um, the Chinese Evergreen. This is the that one, I just uh, transferred it in this kind of pot. You'll just need to put them in a place where it can catch enough sunlight. Um, per my experience, this is a really easy plant. You'll water them at least once every week also if you want. For this Chinese Evergreen, if you'll not put them under enough sunlight, they will just grow like elongated leaves. But I guess if you are not that sensitive with with the shape, then you can put it in your work from home desk. The last one that I have included in my work from home plant is this fortune plant so for this fortune plant i think it's a little sensitive for me because you have to know 
where or in what place or in what location will this fortune plant um, thrive. So at first I have her in in a place where there is really direct sunlight and then it burned her own leaves and then I have put her in a very low sunlight and then it the stem elongated like uh, pointing towards the sun so you just need to at least uh, check or how much sunlight um, she has been receiving so that's it guys I hope you learned a lot in this video in these plants there are a lot of plants that we can include in our setup in our work from home setup in, in order to change the look in order to change the ambience or the aura of our desk I think to summarize all that I have said it's very important to know where your desk or setup is located in order for us to really know what kind of plants we need to include but for these ones the ones that i have discussed these are the ones that can tolerate low light um per my experience and for my research so i hope you learned a lot in this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video so till next time bye, -bye.